Okay, so now we're going to talk about reading the greens, something that's extremely important. So here in Southeast Asia, the greens are very grainy, which means it's really affected by which way the grass is growing. So how do we work out which way the grass is growing? Firstly, if we have a look around the hole, we'll see right here that when they cut the hole, this side here has stayed nice and sharp, where this side here is falling away. So the grass is growing in this direction. So when they cut the hole, all this leaf here, that grass leaf gets cut very sharp, and this side, the root system falls away. So now I know that this part is affected by the grass growing this way. It's a very important thing. So the first part I'm going to look at here is a part from this direction here. We're, we're going to be putting down that hill and the grass is growing down that way. So working out how to control this putt right here is extremely important. So the mistake a lot of amateur golfers make with this putt right here, where the grass is growing straight down the hill, they don't realise that they have to control the speed of this putt so much. And they, this is the type of putt they let get away on themselves. They hit it a little bit too hard, and then all of a sudden it scoots way four foot, five foot past. And then they're very conscious that they've hit that first one too hard and then leave the next one short coming back to really compound the problem. So this putt here, understanding it's downhill, so controlling the length of your stroke. So what I'd like you to do here is to make sure that putter stays within your feet. Once we get back past here and then through past here, we've got way too much power build up for a downhill, down grain putt. So trying to control that putter head, making sure that putts, putter stays within your feet here. I'll try and control that putter in between my feet. So yeah, that one, control the length of the stroke, control the speed. So this one, the grass is going straight down. So we're going to go over the side here now, which means we're going to get a right to left putt. Now the grass is growing in that direction. So now you'll see I've got that line of the golf ball heading almost a cup out to the right affected by that grass growing across us right now here, yeah? So this one uh, is slightly uphill now, so we can have a little bit more stroke. We don't need to be as gentle as that one down the hill. But you're still allowing for a, no a nice right to left break. That grass is growing in this direction here, plus a little bit of slope as well. So I'm aiming it out to the right. And then the ball has curved, curved in this way here. So now we go down to here, and now the grass is growing straight into us. So the grass is growing straight into us, we're up the hill. So this is the part we can be a little bit more aggressive with. Yeah, this is where a golf pro would love to be what they call under the hole, giving themselves an uphill putt. They don't have to be so cautious. That, that, that putt we had down the hill, we can't be aggressive with that, yeah? We're just getting the ball rolling down the hill, we're making sure we get that speed control. Here we can be a little bit more aggressive and think about hitting that putt all the way up to here past the hole. We can think about hitting the golf ball, this golf ball, towards that golf ball, and then hopefully the golf hole just gets in the road, yeah? Let's line one up. Practice stroke, so this stroke is going to be a little bit longer than the one up the hill. Now I'm getting a little bit more outside the feet. So we can be a little bit more aggressive with this putt. We can let that putter come back just past our back foot. And then running it up the hill. Okay. So now we have the left to right putt. The grass is coming this way here. Probably aiming this one out to that other golf ball that's sitting to the left of the hole here. So this putt here just gets a little bit downhill near the hole too, so you don't want to get this, hit this one too hard. But this one aiming left for the hole, out to that other golf ball. And I didn't aim enough break there. See how that one's rolled right away to the right there. So I didn't aim enough up to the left there myself. So that's where practice comes in, learning, getting to learn the greens that you're playing on. So if a golf professional was playing a tournament here, 
the first thing they would do when they get to this golf course on a Monday, Tuesday, is get on the practice green and work out how fast the greens are, how much they're breaking, if they're really fast downhill like they are here at Banyan, how slow they are up the hill, they need to work that out straight away because they're going to have 40% of their shots is going to be right here with putting, yeah? So this is what they do, get straight on the putting green and spend a good hour or two here working out the speed of the greens before they even think about going to the golf course.